excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? KMB the Sexy Ninja here for C Plus Studios, and this is the New World Podcast, brother. And we're talking about SmackDown. Also, my picks and predictions for the Royal Rumble tonight. I want to speak on the show, my thoughts, and I will give you my picks and predictions. Usually, I separate the two, but I was like, you know what? Why why do that and make you know make you go and check out the other podcast because of that? Let's just get it all right now, man. This is my go-home show for the Royal Rumble. Then I'll do the Royal Rumble review after. This is the go-home show, baby. Let's do this. Let's scud in. All right. We, we start off with the bloodline rolling up in that black SUV with the Usos and Solo. Um, and they are in Loretto, Texas. You know, so... Sammy was told not to show up on SmackDown. He was told, Roman told him, I don't want to see you until the Royal Rumble. But as they were going in, Sammy has a hoodie on. He goes to Jay and he's like, he's like, hey, then Jay's like, what are you doing here? Oos? You know, like, get out of here. Get out of here, man. Die. What are you doing here? He's like, yo, because I just got your back. You need anything. You need anything. Got you. He's like, all right, all right. Like, get out of here, Oos. So. We started the show off with Rey Mysterio versus Karrion Cross. This feud that's been building, sort of surprised Rey Mysterio won. I I, I was like okay, I, I but it was a, with the roll up, a quick a quick roll up, really not damaging anything Karrion Cross is doing because he was like oh man what happened I got one two three and stuff like that. So I, I think this feud is going to go on a little bit more, and he's going to cause Rey to lo- to be eliminated during the Rumble. So that that that's just my prediction there, um, and I, and, I, and it was funny as I wrote this note just because they were showing some highlights from um, last week with Bobby Lashley and stuff like that because uh, we're having an Austin Theory come out promo and everything like that and it just a full just go 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 man, um, but we had a Bailey and Damage Control Royal Rumble promo saying they're 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 gonna be in there they're gonna you know they're gonna win and stuff like that so ah Royal Rumble season. Uh, Austin Theory on SmackDown was just kind of interesting, but he he was there. The cocky bastard. But the New Day erupts and saying they're going to win the Rumble. You know, then The Miz comes out. Then, you know, it becomes a brawl with uh, Miz and Theory taking on the New Day. Then, boom, Bobby Lashley comes out, cuts a promo, says, bro, I'm going to win the Rumble. And Brock Lesnar, I'm going to I'm gonna tear through all these people because I'm going to get Brock Lesnar. Then Brock Lesnar shows up. It was like, oh, fuck. F5 is Bobby Lashley. I was, I'm, I was on the edge of my seat with this show from the Rey Mysterio and Karrion Cross match, which I which I like and uh, which I did like, and it, it it was fun. It was and this segment was just like, here we go, baby. We got we got to get everything we can. And and I, I wrote this note: Where does Brock Lesnar fit in the Rumble? You want to know where he fits in the Rumble? He's in the Royal Rumble. So he made a statement with that F five to Bobby and saying he's in the Rumble. But I feel like these two are going to go at it, and they're probably going to eliminate each other. Or something of that nature. I don't. I, I'm hoping Brock doesn't win the Rumble. You know, so something's gonna happen with those two when they get in the ring face to face. You know, it's gonna be that face to face moment. Everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, here we go!" So we'll see. There we have Lacey Evans versus uh, some Jasmine Allure. Uh, I don't know. You know, basically th- this was like just to showcase Lacey Evans is back. She's looking great. She's a heel. This whole back to basics gimmick that she's trying to pull. Still that soldier s aspect, the Cobra clutch. You know, no one can get out of it. And we, we show, she says she's in the Rumble. So I don't know. That, that that crowd was not feeling it. I wasn't feeling it either. She won, of course, with the Cobra clutch. You know, I'm like, nah. you know, Lacey Evans is just somebody. I'm just like, nah. I, you know, you could repackage her all you want. To that good Southern Bell girl, all the way to the back to basics, Lacey Evans, and she's gonna come kick some ass, you know. So, yeah, you know, 
We had uh, some good footage of KO backstage and Solo backstage getting ready. Um, then we had a backstage interview with Sheamus and Drew McIntyre talking about the, you know, they didn't go on in this tag team tournament. And we finally got down to the SmackDown Tag Team uh, Championship Contenders Tournament for the finals that are going on next Friday. Hit Row versus Drew McIntyre and Sheamus, but that did not happen. Viking Raiders attack, so we're still building their feud there. Um, and we went to commercial, we came back, and McIntyre and Sheamus were pissed, and they go, and they're going after the Viking Raiders and revenge and everything like that. And you would you would assume in a bracket like this that Hit Row would just move on. Like, I was like, oh, okay, because I really didn't see Hit Row kind of moving on in this tournament, but I was like, okay, well, if we're going to get hit road to the finals i i i'm i'm game for this but nope adam pierce steps in and says everyone's earning this blah blah, blah. and here's your person that's gonna face you and these guys didn't earn like they, they, like they're they i, I <laughs> this is just some weird booking right here right? like like you know drew mcintyre and sheamus they, they're out of the tournament so replacing them was braun Strowman and ricochet um of course braun Strowman and ricochet are gonna go face um the, the winners of the other uh, championship contender match, tag team championship contender match, um, you know, and I was like, ah, okay, you know, I, I feel like when Hit Row came back, I felt like it was a big deal. It was a big deal to me because I like Hit Row. I really do. But the they're going backwards, in my opinion, and I was like, oh, this is a fresh start to move them forward, you know, take on the Usos, go all the way, shit, even Imperium, I was, I was rooting for, because I like Imperium and stuff like that, this is the next gen of tag team, that's why I was kind of, like, with Sheamus and Drew being in it, and I was like, okay, well, now we got Braun Strowman and Ricochet, and if I'm looking at it correctly, I think Braun Strowman and Ricochet are going to go all the way to face the Usos, just because, random fucking tag team i know they've been having each other's back but just some just i don't know i i don't know how i feel about it but the tag team match itself was uh fun i just feel like hit row deserves better in my opinion so then we had a backstage skirmish with ko he had an interview with uh uh, with Braxton and Usos interrupt and is about to break into a fight then um ap i like how they call him adam pierce uh sends the Usos home and says, get the hell out of here, get the hell out of the arena, blah, blah, blah. And this is where Jay calls Sammy. He's like, yo, you got me? Yeah, you know, but you, know, you got me. So let's do this. You know, you help Solo tonight. Um, LA Knight had a, had a cool little segment because he came out dressed like Bray, old Bray, and with a lantern that was so tiny, I, I popped. I was like, oh, that's, this is some great, this is some great stuff right here. I'm in, I love LA Knight. I'm saying it now. I was not the biggest LA Knight fan, but now I, I am a big LA Knight fan. He slew, slowly, he slowly, not a slew, but he slowly grew on me. And now he's grown on me. I, and I like LA Knight. So Bray Wyatt, of course, comes out. He has his rocking chair. Then we got Uncle Howdy. You know, all these things are going on. So we can build up to their big match, the Mountain Dew Pitch Black match, you know, that's going to happen at the Rumble. So I, I'm still curious, is this going to be a match that's going to be in the ring or will this be a match that's like a video package style? So we shall see. They, they, they did a great build up for LA Knight and they face Bray Wyatt and Uncle Howdy in the shadows. Um, now... The SmackDown Tag Team Championship Contenders Match, Imperium versus LDF Legado Del Fantasma. Once again, <laughs> I'm like, I'm glad it was two fresh tag teams. Like Imperium winning, I, I was four. But with LDF, like, I was wondering, like, okay, we brought these guys back. Like, we brought, well, we brought these, we brought these guys up from NXT. And you know, like every every decision, I feel like Triple H has made, like his decisions to bring up certain certain um certain talents that he he's worked with or that he loves you know wants to see up but they they kind of they kind of get forgotten and that's what i felt like um ldf fell into like they're sort of like in the background now you know and with imperium winning and moving on so it'll be imperium versus braun Strowman and ricochet there's history there so I, I don't know if that was like okay we need to find some way to fit in braun and fit in ricochet so that 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 was just something I'm like okay you know and I know I'm I know I'm I'm kind of like yeah you know, but we'll see 
It's going to be, a, it's, I bet you a dollar this is going to be a really good tag team match. Imperium versus Braun Strowman and Ricochet. Uber talented. Uber, 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 Uber. So, sorry, LDF, but you, you probably had some fun in the Rumble. Well, um, all right. So, uh, we had a Zia Lee promo, I see here. Uh, Charlotte was on a podcast interview, and of course, Sonya interrupts because she's just so persistent. But and then we cut the backstage with Adam Pierce, and Adam Pierce is like, he's like, hey, I know she's you know she's many things and blah blah blah. But Charlotte's like, look here, I want her. To get, let's, let's put let's put the into this. Let's put the end to Sonya Deville, and I will beat her next week on SmackDown for the SmackDown Women's Title. So that that's a big match also with Imperium versus Braun Strowman and Ricochet. So they're, they're already building towards the future. And, and I, I like that. It's like, okay, cool. I got the Royal Rumble and I still have some more stuff to look forward to. Now on to the main event. Kevin Owens versus Solo Sequoia. 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 Well, you know, forgive me, folks. Just going to say Solo. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having problems, but this was a fun match. This was a back and forth, um, back and forth brawl. Uh, I, I'm glad it ended the way it ended. You know, you didn't have um, Kevin Owens pin Solo by any means, just because I feel like we still need to keep Solo strong. We de- we can't have Solo have a loss under his belt because there, there's something they're building with Solo. And uh, Big Daddy had a theory that Solo is going to be the one that turns on Roman Reigns. And I was like, man, that would be fucking crazy. I would lose my shit. Uh, so, great match. Sammy, of course, comes out for the save. Owens Owens looks strong. Yells in the camera, hey, Roman, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat you. I am coming for everything. You know, and... 180 days, my wife's like, holy shit, do you think they're going to pull the trigger? I was like, I don't know. I don't know. So this SmackDown, though, I give this a solid 4 out of 5. Really enjoyed it. Enjoyed it much more than Raw 30. If you want to hear that review, it, it's it's in the catalog now. Just Raw is 30. Go listen to that. I've had a couple feedback from that. And, um, you know, after, so it's not bad, right? Two. Two out of three shows, like I like the two out of the three. So you know we're, we're on a good we're on a good streak here. Good SmackDown, good Dynamite. So I, I'm a happy camper. But now, now, folks, now, folks, this is ha- this is Royal Rumble Day. Now we're talking about the predictions for the Royal Rumble 2023. I got my notes. I'm ready. I I, I can't wait. I, I I'm like I got my Kevin Owens shirt on. I'm gonna go get some snackages. I am excited. So I'm gonna start. With the Mountain Dew Pitch Black match, L.A. Knight versus Bray Wyatt or The Fiend. Who are we going to get? Uncle Howdy is going to be intervened some way, somehow. And we also have the Raw Women's Championship match, Bianca Belair versus Alexa Bliss. I feel like Alexa Bliss is going to win with some assistance from Uncle Howdy or Bray Wyatt. I I feel deep down Alexa Bliss is going to take that championship. And co- and right over to the Mountain Dew pitch black match, Bray Wyatt is going to beat LA Knight. But in either match, I feel, this is my prediction, that we're going to have uh, Alexa Bliss standing with Bray Wyatt and Uncle Howdy. And Uncle Howdy will be revealed. And everyone's talking about it's going to be... Um, it's going to be uh, Bo Dallas, which would be fucking awesome. Um, so, you know, all these rumors, I feel like either or in this match, we're going to finally see the faction come together. Bray Wyatt's family come together. And we're already going to have some gold added to it by Alexa Bliss holding the Raw Women's Championship. And I, I feel these two matches are going to happen like back to back. Because they, 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 they play into each other. And I'm just curious about what a Mountain Dew pitch black match is. Will it be cinematic or will we get it in the ring? You know, are the lights going to be off? <laughs> or are we going to get the stupid red light that they did with The Fiend? I, I still didn't like that. But I, something's going to happen. And these two matches are going to intervene some way, somehow. And Alexa Bliss is going to win. And Bray Wyatt's going to win. Then the faction the family, the Firefly Funhouse, all of it. Uncle Howdy comes together. So that, I, I just wanted to tackle those two because I know both, both of them, they, 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 they play into each other. Now, 
We're going to talk about the men's Royal Rumble. I, I think Big E's going to return. I got a feeling. I got a feeling inside my bones. But who's going to win the Royal Rumble? I Here's my two. I have two. I, I can't pick one. I have two here. It's either going to be Cody Rhodes or Seth freaking Rollins. Who... Are they going to face Kevin Owens? Or are they going to face Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship? And rumor has it that they were talking about splitting the titles. Like they got the tag team titles. You know, like they're going to take those off the Usos. About splitting the titles again and having two championships. A Universal Championship, a WWE Championship. So, but who who's going to win the Rumble? I feel is Cody Rhodes. But also, I also hear the song. Uh, of Seth freaking Rollins winning the Rumble. So, and I know these two are going to have one hell of a collision inside the Royal Rumble, like uh, Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins are going to see each other. It's going to be them two. And I would be, I, that's like a pitch perfect ending to, to like, hey, what if they're the last two in the ring? Cody and Seth, you know, like that would be bonkers. So, I, 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 I'm going with Cody, but I think Seth. So, so tell me what you think. Drop those comments below. Women's Royal Rumble. I think uh, uh, Rhea Ripley is going to take the Women's Royal Rumble because she's been having one hell of a year. It's mommy's year. You know, with Dom and everything and the Judgment Day, all this stuff that's that's been building up. I think Rhea Ripley is gonna find is gonna win the Royal Rumble and she's gonna have a great redemption because when she went to WrestleMania, you know, losing to Charlotte and everything like that, I think this is the build up to building Rhea Ripley to take her to that next level because she's on fire right now. All this stuff with Dom and the Judgment Day and everything like that. I think Rhea Ripley is gonna win the Royal Rumble itself and it's gonna be awesome. Okay, now the undisputed WWE Universal Championship match: Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens. Ugh, we're here finally. Will Kevin Owens dethrone Roman? A hundred, eight hundred and eighty days, folks. That's a big one. Eight hundred and eighty days. Roman Reigns as champ. Is Kevin? Are they going to pull the trigger? This is where it is. When, is when when I got the Sammy the Sammy aspects there as well too and we got the bloodline and you know the Usos are gonna come out you know um uh Solo's gonna be out there's gonna be an all out war and I this is I I feel like I, I said before Sammy's the rat you know he's been playing and playing and playing and playing and playing and we're gonna finally pull and Sam I I think Kevin Owens is gonna win. I feel it. You know, I could be wrong, but I feel it deep down. Sammy's gonna help Kevin Owens, and this is where we're gonna see the the fall, like the the slowly breaking down of the uh, the bloodline. This is where we start, and it's all gonna build to uh, WrestleMania, and where the bloodline's gonna officially just fall apart. You know, they had a great run, but. All great stories must come to an end, and I think Kevin Owens is going to take that championship from Roman Reigns. So I, I'm excited. Like I said, I got my KO shirt on. I said that before, but I'm just like, oh, my God, it's the Royal Rumble, baby. Royal Rumble, my brother's going to come over. I, I wish Big Daddy was going to join us, but he's um, down the hill. But we'll text each other during the show. You know, Royal Rumble is very special. I even took the day off just, just because I was like, you know what? And I told my boss, I was like, hey, it's the Royal Rumble. You know, WrestleMania is right around the corner. This is this is where all my my inner child comes out, just because I I love the Royal Rumble. It's it's just a fun good time. Um, I hope you have fun. Tell me what you think of my predictions for tonight, uh, for tonight's show for the Royal Rumble. Drop those comments. Tell me what you liked at SmackDown. Tell me what you hated SmackDown. Um, drop those comments. And after that, you're gonna hit a like and you're gonna hit a subscribe. And you're going to rock with me, KMB, the Sexy Ninja. And throw up that too sweet sign because this is the New World Podcast. And you're going to share it.
with your grandma, with your grandpa, with a bum down at Walmart. And you're going to remember that the New World Podcast is for life, brother. Bring this camera back. Roman, you listen. Tomorrow night, Royal Rumble. I'm bringing everything I got. Ah!